Uh, other questions here? What else you want to look at? Number nine, let's, let's read the text. Ready? Tate pras elthan alto he meter ton huion zebedayu meta ton huion altes pras kenus, oh, I'm sorry, pras kunusa kai aitusa ti apautu. All right, yeah, that's a good one. And it actually hits one of the, the things that's important for us, which is matching the participle to the item in the main clause that, uh, that matches its case gender number. So um, how do you translate the first part of this uh, up to uh, Zabadayu? To give us your translation there. Rachel, were you the one asked about that? Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at that. You're right that this could be he came. Um, what person and number is that verb ending? Is it first singular, third plural? What, what is this? It is third singular, okay? So this is third singular, and is this a first or a second aorist? Second. That's why you don't have the sa, right? Second aorist, active indicative, third singular. So when it's third singular, what are my three possible subjects? He, she, or it. So my subject might be a feminine noun that's nominative. Do you see a feminine noun that's nominative here? Yeah, you see, hey, mater, that's the lexical form. So the mother, and then ton huion zebedayu goes with it. it it's geni genitivally modifying the mother. So the mother of the sons of Zebedee, she was the one who did this, came up to him. All right? Right, exactly. So you have to look at the case of the other nouns in your sentence and say, okay, if I have a nominative noun, that might be the subject here, okay? And that's certainly the case. All right. Okay, very good. Now let's take a look at these last two forms. Uh, with uh, the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with the sons of her, meaning her own sons, right? And then look at this form, proskunusa. Is that a participle? Yeah, you see that usa ending? What gender is that? It's feminine, good. And when I have the alpha with no case ending, what case and number is it? Nominative and singular, right? This is a nominative singular feminine. So who's doing the bowing down here? The mom, because hey mater is nominative singular feminine too, isn't it? Okay, so the mother came, and she came doing what? Bowing down, and itusa, same form, it's participle, uh, and asking, to apple too, asking something from him. Okay, so she's doing the bowing down and the, and the asking. It can be translated as worshiping or bowing down or prostrating oneself. Yes. It's from this word T here. Okay, so when you have tis and T with the accent, it means who, what. Okay, it's the interrogative T. When you have the tis and the T without the accent on the iota, 
It's the indefinite tisanti, which is to say someone, something, okay? So someone or thing or a certain one, a certain thing, anyone, anything, okay? And, and so here you've got the T with no accent on it. So this is neuter and unaccented. So asking something from him. Okay. All right, good. We have time probably for one more. So number 10, let's let's go back to the beginning and then we'll we'll fit in the Marta Rumene here. We have Dikaya Sune Theu, which means what? The righteousness of God. Pefanerotai. What's my lexical form here? Fanerao. Okay, Fanerao. So what's what's with the pe in front of fanerao? Reduplication. Why wasn't it fefanerao? That's right. The fricative, when we would have reduplicated it, doesn't want to do two fricatives in a row. And so it dissimilates to a hard stop. Okay? So... Uh, that's characteristic of what tense? Reduplication? Perfect, good. And then with the tie ending, that is middle passive, right? Indicative. Which person and number is tie? Third singular. All right, good. And what would be the subject? Clearly, dikaiasune is the nominative feminine singular form, right? So the righteousness of God has been revealed. Now look at metaru, excuse me, marturumene. We have uh, what form? We have mene here. What gender is that? Feminine. Number? That's singular. Good. And what case is this? Is it, is it nominative? Genitive? Dative? Accusative? Nominative. It's nominative. Mene would be the nominative singular. Menes, genitive singular. Mene with the Yoda subscript. Menane, accusative singular, okay, for the feminines. So this is nominative. So what is the conceptual subject of this participle if it's nominative, semi, no, nominative singular feminine? What in my sentence is also nominative singular feminine? Dikayasune. Okay, so let's go back. We want to trace it back to that. So whatever this means, the dikayasune theu is the subject. So um, if you look at the mene ending, that's clearly a middle passive ending, isn't it, for the participle? So, uh, and we only know presence right now, but martyreo certainly uh, belongs here in terms of the stem. It's an eo verb, which is a contract verb, so we've got contraction here, which is not surprising. All right. So uh, it's probably going to have the passive meaning here. And so the righteousness of God has been revealed being witnessed to. What was witnessed to? The righteousness of God. Okay. So the righteousness of God has been revealed being witnessed to or while being witnessed to Hupa plus the genitive case, what does that mean? By. So when you have a passive verb with Hupa in the genitive, this is telling you the agent of the passive verb, who's actually doing the witnessing. So uh, the, the righteousness of God was witnessed to by the law and the prophets. Okay? So there you go.